Welcome to another episode of Eric Wade Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Witherspoon Whiskey. Uh, this is a straight bourbon whiskey bottled at 50% alcohol by volume on bottle or 100 proof. I picked this up while visiting uh, distilleries in Texas. Uh, going to Texas and looking for whiskeys is not just about visiting distilleries, although I think that's the ultimate trip. Uh, but look around at local uh, whiskey shops and see if you can find something there. In fact, sometimes you can find bottles that are sold out at a distillery at other whiskey shops. Alrighty, before getting into this, here are my notes. Witherspoon's Texas Straight Bourbon is distilled from a mash bill of 75% corn, well exceeding the minimum 51% requirement to be labeled bourbon. The remaining grains used are barley and rye, Rumor has it this whiskey is aged between five or six years longer than the two year requirement to be labeled a straight bourbon. It is bottled at 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof and it retails for about $39. So the distillery uh, has actually changed its name. It's now called Bent Distillery. And when I was in Texas and picked this up at a whiskey shop, I wasn't expecting to soon be returning to Texas and to buy more bottles, but I'll be in Texas in June, July, and October uh, 2020 and hope to visit uh, the distillery. Um, got this for 25 bucks. It's a 375. Uh, the uh, 750 is about $40. All right. Looks like a classic bourbon. It's got those bronze uh, colors to it. Slight amber on the nose. Medium intense aromas of canned corn, vanilla, vanilla pudding, vanilla wafers, cinnamon, nutmeg, caramel, a little fresh oak, nutmeg. It's a classic bourbon nose. It smells like a bourbon from Kentucky. It doesn't have anything distinctive about it that would make you say that it's from Texas. Um, that there's sort of a Texas note that I picked up in a lot of other uh, Texas bourbons. All right, on the palate. On the palate, the nose is confirmed. Up front, sweet caramel corn and canned corn, vanilla, vanilla pudding, vanilla wafers, cinnamon, nutmeg. There's a little fresh oak going on there. Uh, there's also some apple, apples with cinnamon, a little bit of sort of a peach cobbler. Has a nice long finish, vanilla pudding punch in the middle, and then what lingers is uh, cinnamon, a little bit of an apple pie character, and has a nice long finish. Uh, again, $40 for the 750, $25 for the uh, 375. Nice, handy little bottle. You can actually fit this in your pocket. I think it's got a real good quality price ratio. Score-wise, I'm gonna go 88, but, so even though it's not over 90 points, but at that price level, it's definitely uh, worth uh, picking up. If you're a Kentucky bourbon fan, then you'd probably like this one. If you're looking for something that stands out and screams, hey, I'm from Texas, uh, it doesn't have some of the some more character notes that I get from a lot of other Texas whiskeys, but it's still a good uh, quality, everyday, uh, classic style bourbon. Alrighty, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I well, thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you have tried the Witherspoon uh, straight bourbon whiskey, I would like to hear your thoughts on it in the comments down below. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.